So I pray for? Yep, I am. Okay, welcome to today's weekly croc vlog. I hope you enjoyed the intro with Sarah's voiceover. That is the first ever that we've experienced this. Today is the weekly croc vlog 40. I've only got 12 of these to go to complete the one year goal and then these are coming to an end. But the way to make these a little bit more interesting than the past, rather than just like filming random parts of my life, is to give some kind of focus. So the focus for this week is seven tips to building muscle and each day around other parts of my life that I'm going to show you, I'll give you seven tips to building muscle. So let's get into it. God. Ah, oh, just finished today's session, did a um, home fit two core workout and then a weighted leg day. And I thought I'd just jump straight into tip number one, which is giving the stimulus for growth. And what I mean by that is actually doing resistance training. So you've got to make the muscles grow because you've got to tear the muscle fibers in order for them to grow back bigger and stronger. That won't happen unless you do the training. And you've got to follow a program because if you don't follow a program, you'll end up just doing a bit of biceps, doing a bit of that, and then you'll be leaving things out. And the benefit of following a program means that you're going to be working the entire body and giving yourself more chance to actually build muscle because you're working the entire body, especially the legs. Stop skipping leg day because these are the biggest muscles in the body. So if you want to build muscle, you've got to definitely build those. So follow a program that hits your entire body and be consistent. Busy week this week actually because something that I do from time to time is a bit of corporate work. And I'm currently filming five videos for this big company and they want videos in um, like healthy lifestyle and then workout videos for flexibility, hit and strength etc. So every afternoon this week so far I've been filming those. Um, you know I love making these videos for YouTube and everything so it's weird for me to make videos which are being used privately and taking up some of my time but I really enjoy it as well because it's another uh, platform, another audience that I know that I can help and reach so I'm filming those at the moment, hopefully going to finish them this afternoon and then get back to normal content from tomorrow onwards. <sighs> okay, session for the day done, that happened a lot later than, than I expected, it's like, what's time? seven o'clock or something, it's getting dark. But anyway, let's just move straight into um, tip number two, which is of course, nutrition. And the most, probably the most important thing about building muscle is nutrition after, of course, training, which was tip one. And that is, you need to give the fuel to the body to actually grow the muscle. If you're not eating any food, then how do you expect to build muscle? So the most important thing is that you hit at least your maintenance calories. If not, then calories in a surplus, meaning you've got to eat as many calories as you burn in the day, if not more. So for example, my maintenance calories right now is like 2,800 to 3,000. I've really got to hit 2,800 upwards to be in the most optimal position to build muscle. You can build muscle in a deficit, but when I've been training for 10 years like I have, it's very difficult. If you're a beginner, and you're eating enough protein, that's another tip coming soon, um, then there is a chance that you'll build muscle in a deficit. But really, to give yourself the most chance, you need to be hitting maintenance or at least surplus. Time to eat and drink. Good morning, it's Wednesday, and we're getting pretty good at this morning routine. It is without question that we get up every single day, Monday to Friday at 6 a.m. and go for a walk, even on rainy days like this. Um, I pop my BCAAs, have lots of water, black coffee in hand, and get out there and tick off pretty much the main piece of cardio for the day, about 35, 40 minutes, 5,000 steps, um, and that's cardio done. Today is like a medium intensity day. I'm having a bit of an active recovery day, not going um, full out here in the workout because my chest is actually pretty sore from the workout the other day. So I've done my home fit two workout and actually finished cycle one. So tomorrow I'll start on to cycle two. Well done everyone that's currently doing the CrocFit summer challenge in the CrocFit app. Keep going everyone. And then after that I went straight into an Instagram live abs workout, 12 minute abs. Abs absolutely burning right now. And um, make sure that you're 
joining me in Scram Live every week, Wednesday, 6 p.m. UK time. Anyway, now that I've just worked the abs, let's go straight into tip number three, which is, of course, protein. Of course, that was gonna be a big tip, and I say, obviously protein, but it's not always that obvious because I talk to a lot of you every single day in my DMs and emails and a lot of people wanting to build muscle and lose body fat or just generally build muscle and they're not hitting their protein goals. It's really important that you aim for a protein number per day in your nutrition and that number is one gram per pound of body weight. So for example, if I'm 175 grams of body weight, 175 grams of body weight, <laughs> if I'm 175 pounds of body weight, then I would need 175 grams of protein in my diet, which isn't that hard to achieve if you track your nutrition and you're conscious of it. If you just go throughout your day just eating whatever you want, then you won't hit that minimum protein requirement. And it doesn't mean that you have to be a meat eater, you can be vegetarian, vegan, you can eat whatever nutrition, whatever diet is suitable for you because protein can be found in many, many foods, but you do need to track it to make sure you're hitting it. And of course, that comes from real food and supplementation. I usually have two protein shakes a day. Well, I mean, one smoothie in the morning, which includes protein powder, and then a protein shake, which I'm just about to have after my workout as well. So tip number three, get your protein in. Productive morning this morning, just doing my normal routine of messages, emails, editing, stuff like that, and now just digging into lunch, getting a really good routine of lunch at the moment of this eggs and egg white omelette with some eat lean cheese. Got some red pepper in there today as well. Um, that keeps me going for a couple of hours before snack, before pre-workout. Okay, just finished a filming session for a home fit workout. 20 minutes to batter, absolutely killed me. And I've got another session later on as well on live. Um, but let's just jump straight into tip number four, which is creatine. And I know some of you take creatine as a supplement, some of you don't. The reason why creatine is so good for building muscle is because it's one of the most highly researched proven supplement to help you build lean muscle, strength, power, and the ability to recover faster from your workout. So if you're looking to build muscle and you're struggling, then you really do have to add creatine into your supplement routine. I normally, actually currently, I'm having this product called Growth Matrix, which is an all-round protein shake which has creatine in it. But if I'm not, then I'll just take the creatine powder or uh, tablets. And how much you take, if you've never taken creatine before, then you start with five grams a day. And then once you've loaded that for a few weeks or a month, you can then drop it down to three to five grams per day onwards. Normally in your protein shake after your workout or in the mornings, it doesn't really matter when, as long as you keep your levels topped up. Make sure if you want any of these supplements from Reflex Nutrition that you use my code PTCROFFORD50 for 40% off. And ask me any questions or take a look at my supplement um, videos that I've made plenty of as well. Anyway, I've now got to have a protein shake, um, have some more food ready for my next workout later on. Oh, I'm enjoying a well needed rest day today, aren't I Pickles? Okay, but that's not today's tip. Today's tip I wanna talk about the next tip is the mindset of building muscle. Let's talk about a bit more about mindset today because that's often the part that people really fall on. Come on, jump down. There we go, you just wanted to cuddle. Okay, so I'm gonna break this up into two parts and that is number one is the amount of people that tell me or ask me how long does it take to achieve this? How long does it take to build this? How long does it take to to get abs, how long does it take? If you're already asking how long it takes to achieve something, in my opinion, you've already started off the wrong foot. The number one thing for building muscle and achieving a physique and getting any real sustainable results in fitness is patience and consistency. Because if you've already got that mindset of wanting something really quickly, you're gonna do the wrong habits each day to get those things really quickly and you're gonna see something as as it comes to an end. You want the mindset of, I, I know that I've got to do this for months and months and months and years and years, and it's the process that you love. Really, this tip is all about loving the process every single day and enjoying it. And if you're not enjoying it, switch it up so you do enjoy the process, because if you don't enjoy it, you're not gonna make those habits. Everything that I'm talking about in this video, all these tips, have got to be a part of your day-to-day -day habit so you are able to maintain those results in the long run. The second part is changing the mindset with nutrition into fueling the body. When you look on the internet and you look on social media and you see 
the person with your dream body. I, I get these, these uh, comments all the time, that person must be eating just lettuce leaves or a salad every day. Actually, you could not be further away from the truth. When you see somebody with a ripped, shredded physique, with veins popping out everywhere and bulging muscles, they're eating so much food because they're fueling the body. It's not about under eating and restriction and dieting, it's about fueling the body. Think about yourself as being your own athlete. Stop thinking about being on a diet and restrictive and start thinking about nutrition, fueling the body to build muscle. And often when you get stuck in the mindset of, I need to get lean, I need to get lean, and I need to drop body fat, this creates a mindset of restriction and dieting, and I've been there, I can say this because I've been there, I'm only now really thinking about reverse dieting and bringing my calories back up to a maintenance level to, to kind of um, rehab my metabolism into building more muscle and, and taking on more energy and and I've been in a calorie deficit for what feels like years. So I'm changing this mindset as well and can already feel the benefits. So take those two powerful mindful mindset tips um, and make it a part of your day-to-day -day routine. Let's finish up with the cuddles, start editing this video and enjoy the rest of my Friday. Absolute feast of a dinner here. We've got chicken and veg, sweet potato and rice. Looking to build muscle, have dinners like this. Thank you. It's Saturday and it's the first time that we've been out in the shops really. I'm in the car, Sarah's driving and we're off to Westfield because we have a very, very special thing to organise and that is our wedding bands, our rings. Um, our wedding is in how many weeks? Six weeks. Six weeks from now. Today. Six weeks today, my God. Um, so yeah, we're going to get our masks on, jump in, we're going to go Tiffany's and Co. Oh, rah, 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 yeah, Tiffany. So, like, pretending we're, like, super posh or something. But we've... Um, got the we've, cheapest uh, rings. <laughs> got the cheapest <laughs> rings in the shots, probably. That is so true. We're at Westfields now. Ready to try on our rings. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Let me... So nice. There we go. That looks nice. Is that nice now? <laughs> On our way home now and I've been doing an incredibly exciting task. I've been given access to my Gym Fit 4 plan in the app to start testing before we launch out to the masses. So here it is, Gym Fit 4, and I'm going through it. And I wrote it obviously quite a while ago. So I'm going through the workouts and thinking, wow, these are incredible workouts. There's just a few issues that I need to go through and then we'll get this out to everybody as soon as possible. Very, very exciting. Okay, got home and finally got to training. We did like a sofa leg day. I filmed it for a separate YouTube video, so make sure you look out for that. Um, and let's go straight into tip number six of the week of how to build muscle. And this tip is all about what I mentioned briefly yesterday, which was my rest day. And that is rest and recovery and sleep. And actually, I had a really nice sleep um, last night and especially after the rest day and I woke up feeling much better much less sore I dropped some fat on the scales as well dropped a bit of weight and I was feeling good and that just made me realize that yes sleep and rest is even more important than I already knew just remember guys that when you're training hard and you're lifting weights or doing resistance training to build muscle you're tearing muscle fibers and that's important but it's pointless if you don't give the body a chance to actually recover those broken, torn muscles. Um, by doing that, you need to have rest days and you need good quality sleep. So make sure that you don't train ridiculously hard every single day and you take at least one day of the week where you don't do any resistance training at all and give your body a good chance to recover and repair and make sure you're building that into whatever gym program or workout program that you're doing that you have those rest days because otherwise you could be driving yourself into overtraining which is so popular for a lot of people who struggle to build muscle is actually they're overtrained they're training too much they're not eating enough and not sleeping enough and they're not getting the results that they want so train hard and rest hard okay welcome to sunday i've just ticked off the final session of the week which was like a bit of a metcon home fit body weight workout and then chest day which just involved loads and loads of push-ups today to focus on the chest and the triceps 
So the final tip of the week, number seven, is all about training again, and that is progressive overload. And it's probably a term that you might have heard before. It's basically a progressive increase of load on the body to force the body to create adaptations, um, i.e. gain muscle. Put it this way, if you think about doing the same thing every single day, it doesn't make the, mu doesn't make the body scared of thinking, oh God, if he does that again, I need to be better. If you just keep going through the same workouts for the same reps, same weight, the body will be like, oh, I've done this before, this is easy. Whereas if you add on more reps or add on more weight, the body's gonna be like, oh shit, I need to have more muscle, I need to be stronger to if, if he does that again. So that is the process of progressive overload. So in four weeks time from today, you need to be doing two more reps of that normal weight, or you need to be doing five kilograms extra. Just those small increments in your workouts creates this progressive overload, and before you know it, you're building muscle and getting stronger. I see people coming into the gym and doing the same thing day in, day out for years and years and years and not making progress, which is okay if fitness is part of your routine, but if you want to build muscle and make progress, you've really got to track and be accountable for all of your workouts. And like I said in a previous tip about following a plan, if you're following a plan and tracking your weights and exercises, you can make sure you're ticking off your progressive overload. Okay, that comes to the end of the video. I've had a successful week in building muscle this week, I think. I'm looking forward to just taking this straight back into um, next week and the week after and making some good progress here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my seven tips to building muscle. Um, and please give this video a thumbs up, share it to your friends who might find it interesting interesting and useful um, and I'll see you in the next one. See you next week. Bye bye.